Hello, my name's Pete. What's yours? Anne. Nice name. I like it very much. Thank you. Your name's good too. It was nice meeting you. Thanks. It was nice meeting you. What's the day today? I wonder. Sunday, the eighth of March. What is it famous for? Don't you know? It's International Women's Day. Are lessons over? Yes, they are. Where are you going? Home? No, to the pictures. My friend's waiting for me there. Good luck then. Goodbye. Well, I'm off. See you later. Have you got any hobbies? I have. I like English. So do I. Do you read much? Yes, because I want to know English well. Oh, let's talk English for a bit. No objections to it. Oh dear! Hurry up! I'm trying to. Well, come on! It's your first day at school. Do you want to be late? I- I'm re- I'm ready now. Off we go. I don't think English is easy. Why don't you think so? Because I have to work hard learning a lot by heart. I'm going to be an English language teacher. Why? For a number of reasons. What reasons? I wonder. The main one is I like English. What do you think the best sort of job is? Engineering, I think. I like medicine. Hmm. To my mind, the best one is the one you like the most. I say, where are you going? To school, as you see. Why so early? I wonder. It's only twelve o'clock now. That's right, but I'm on duty, you know. I see. Where are you going? To a friend of mine to play chess. Bye bye. Bye bye. Please give me that book. What for? To have a look at it. Here you are. Thank you. Not at all. Have you had a good day at school? Wonderful. I've got three really good marks. Jolly good. Congratulations. Thank you. You're far too lazy. Look at your English. Is this the best you can do? You know, I, I'm I'm no good at English. And what about physics? I am ashamed of myself. You could easily come top of the class. I'll work harder. I promise. Well, hurry up. I'm trying to, but look, isn't there half an hour before school starts? Is that the right time? I'm sure it is. School's almost over. Yes, I know. How many more days? Six. When do the holidays start? Next week. How did you enjoy your summer holidays? Oh yes, very much. I spent them at a youth camp. On the south coast, as usual, with your elder sister. Yes, but this time I was alone. How lucky you were! That's right. Look here. This has got to stop. You've come bottom in nearly every subject. Except geography. Yes, indeed. You came second to bottom in that. It wasn't really my fault. I was ill for some time, wasn't I? That's no excuse. I'll improve. I doubt it. My bag, please. Which one is it? It's one of those there. This one. No, not that one. What color? It's brown. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Not at all. So you passed your exams? It wasn't all that difficult. It's because you worked hard, I think. Well, I was all right in history, but I didn't do so well in literature. And how about your English? Not so good. Only so-so. Hello. Glad to see you. Hello. So am I. Today's your birthday, isn't it? That's right. It's kind of you to remember. Well, many happy returns of the day. Here's a present for you. Oh, thank you! What beautiful flowers! I don't know how to thank you. Is painting your hobby? Why do you think so? Because there's a lot of pictures in this room. It's my elder brother's hobby. I see. But what about you? I prefer books. What shall we have for breakfast? What about some bread and butter? Two eggs and a cup of tea. Well, I don't mind, but I'd like to add some biscuits. Okay. Fish again? Why I thought you liked it. I do, of course, but not every day. Well, in that case, I'll give you some meat. Thank you. That'll be better. 
Good morning. Glad to see you. Good morning. So am I. Won't you come and sit down? I'm sorry, but I can't. Why not? I wonder why. I'm short of time, you know. Well then, what's up? I'd like to see your sister. Is she in? Oh no, she's still at school. Hello, who's that? Pete. Hello, Pete. How are you? Hello, quite well, thanks. What are you doing? Playing chess with my father. I'd like to speak to Eliza. What's she doing? Watching the TV program. Shall we go to the cinema? I've got three tickets. What's on? A new film. They say rather interesting. Okay, we'll meet at the entrance. Shall we? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Why not? I didn't have time last night. That's no excuse. Mummy. Yes, dear. What's the matter? You seem upset. Yes. Well, what's happened? You see, I well. Come on now, out with it. All right then. If you must know, I've got a bad mark. What again? I say, what's wrong? Nothing. Everything's fine. Why are you crying then? Will you tell me what's happened? Well, you see, I've lost my book. Have you looked for it everywhere in the room? Yes, I still can't find it. What are you looking at? That book. Which one? Point to it. That one there. Oh yes, beautiful one, isn't it? Yes, it is. I wish I had it. So do I. What about killing that fly? No. Why not? Why should I? Isn't it annoying you? No, it isn't. Well, it's annoying me. In that case, you kill it yourself. Why are you switching on the radio set? Shall we listen to the seven o'clock news? Isn't it too early for that now? Of course not. It's already one to seven. Shall I help you wash? Thanks, but I'd rather do it myself. As you like. It's a pity I can't help you. Or shall I try? Oh no! Don't bother. It's no bother at all. Will you help me, my boy? What do you want me to do, mummy? Will you polish the floor today? Is it my turn? Yes, it is. Your brother did it last time. Oh, all right then. Your things are lying about all over the room. Well, what about it? Just tidy them up. I'll think about it. How about doing it now? Well, if you insist. What are you doing here? I'm reading. Why are you asking me? Sorry, but I need your help. What can I do for you? Please bring me a pail of water. With pleasure. Will you copy this text for me? Sorry, but I'd rather not. Why not? I don't feel like copying. Is that as difficult as all that? No, but still, you have to do it yourself. Excuse me, could you help me, please? I'll try. What do you want? Something's wrong with my alarm clock. Let me see. Sorry, but I can't help. You'd better get it repaired. What's the matter with you? I'm not feeling very well today. Do you have a headache? Yes, and a sore throat too. Well, in that case, you'd better stay at home. Oh yes, I'll have to. I'd like to go and play for a while. But you've got to do your lessons first. Oh, I've already done my homework. Have you really? Then you may go. You know it's your mother's birthday soon. Isn't it about time to think of a good present for her? Well, I've a little surprise for her. How nice! What? This drawing. Wonderful! She'll be delighted. Believe it or not, I've got three tickets for today's football match. You don't say. That's wonderful. Will you come with us? Well, you see, I. Why are you hesitating? Well, I'd like to, but I'd better ask my mother first. This is my new dress. What do you think of it? It's a very pretty one. I'll bet it cost a lot. It certainly did. Where did you get it? In London. Really? Can I see you for a minute, please? What's up? Don't you know the news? What do you mean by this? There'll be no classes tomorrow. What are you doing? Eating? Jam? What difference does it make to you? Well, you shouldn't eat in between meals. Why not? I wonder why. It's dinner time soon. All right then. I wonder where my book is. 
Why don't you ask your sister? Has she ever touched my things? How should I know? How are you feeling today? A bit better, thank you. But did you call a doctor? No. Why not, I wonder? Well, I didn't think it was necessary, but I'm going to bed now. That's the best place for you at the moment. What's the matter with you? I'm not feeling very well, doctor. What exactly is the trouble? I've got an awful headache. Are you working hard and getting too little rest? Yes, I think so. Now you stay in bed until you're well. I'm a bit late, am I? That's all right, darling. Take off your coat, wash your hands, and sit down at table. Dinner's ready, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, I think that's all the reading for today. Is it getting late? What time is it now? Time for bed, I think. Okay, come in, Mommy. Now hurry up. I don't want you fighting. Stop it once and for all. Sorry, but I had to. He started it. I don't care what the reasons are. I forbid you to fight. What does that sign say? Can't you read English? Why would I ask if I could? Shall I read it to you? That's what I want you to do. Excuse me, do you have a ball? Certainly. Here, help yourself. Thanks. Not at all. Well, do you have anything arranged for tomorrow? Nothing definite. How would you like to go on an excursion? Where to? To Austin Kino Tower. Oh, yes, I'd be glad to. Shall we go for a walk? Good idea. Where to? Let's go to the park. Don't you think we'd better go to the fields? Let me see. It's 10 o'clock now. We've got plenty of time. Are you going out? Yes, to the playground. Do you want to come? Yes, I do, but I can't. Can't you? Why not? Because I have to do my homework now. Oh, you can do it tomorrow. Oh, no. There'll be no time for that tomorrow. I've got to do it today. Well, in that case, I'll stay at home and help you. Thanks. That's very nice of you. I've got to go to the railway station. What for? To meet a friend of mine. How do I get there from here? Catch a bus. It's the quickest way, I think. I beg your pardon. Is this the right way to Hyde Park? I'm sorry. I can't tell you. Oh, what a nuisance. Why not? You see, I'm a stranger in these parts myself. What shall I do then? Well, ask somebody else. Or even better, ask a policeman. Thank you. Much obliged. Anything I can show you? Oh, yes, please. I want some shoes. What size? Color? 35. Brown, please. Here you are. Thanks. May I try them on? Do, please. They're all right. How much are they? Ten rubles. Can I help you? Yes. I want a large box of chocolates for a present, please. It's Mummy's birthday tomorrow. What about this one? Oh, yes. It'll do. How much is it? Seventy-five pence, please. Anything else? Nothing else. Thank you. Will you be going shopping today? Why do you ask? I'd like to ask you a favor. What can I do for you? Would you get me some sugar and bread? Certainly, if you give me some money. I'm very short. It's raining hard at the moment. And we're both carrying parcels. I'm afraid of getting wet. Why not get a bus? That's a good idea. What would you do if you had a lot of money? I'd buy a scooter. But if you can't buy a scooter? Then I'd buy a bicycle. Hello, is that nice? I hope you enjoy your breakfast, don't you? Oh yes, very. Thanks. May I sit at your table, please? You're very welcome. Thank you. Oh dear, call your little brother, please. He's up in the tree. Well, let him come down. He says he won't until you agree to play football with him. Oh no, I can't do that. I'm too old to do that. What's his telephone number? It slipped my memory. I know it, but I can't think of it. Neither can I. Well, it'll come back to me in a minute. What's that girl's name? Do you mean the one in the blue coat? Oh yes, that's the one. Let me see. It'll come back to me in a moment. Don't tell me. You've forgotten it. It's just slipped my mind. Think hard, will you? It's just on the tip of my tongue. You must remember. 
I've got it at last, Caroline. Do you come to school by bus? Yes, because I live a long way from school. And you? Oh, I always walk to school. I live nearby. What luck running into you. How are you getting on? Thanks. Everything's all right. I'm quite well. You see, I was ill last week. What was the matter with you? I had a cold, high temperature, and a headache. Poor you. You had an awful time, I should think. You're right. The weather's fine today, isn't it? Yes, it is. The sun shining brightly in the blue sky. Is it warm in the street, I wonder? I shouldn't think so. It's November now. Shall I put a coat on? As you like. Are you afraid of catching cold? Certainly. All right, then. Do you like going to the pictures? Not specially. I prefer the theater. Do you often go to the theater? Yes, I do. How often? Once or twice a month. It depends. Not so bad, I think. I'm going to have a party on Sunday. Can you come? Yes. Thank you for the invitation. What time shall I come? At six o'clock, please. Okay. That suits me. How long shall we have to wait for him? I'm afraid I've no idea. Well, I hope he won't be too long. I hope so, too. How about ringing him up? That's a good idea. Let's. How do we get to the theater? By bus or tram? Either, but the tram takes much longer. Look, there's a number three bus over there. Hurry up. Oh, no. I simply can't. Let's catch the next one. What bus are you catching? Number two to the stadium. Sorry to trouble you, but should I catch the same bus for the post office? Yes, you can catch any bus to get there. Can I get to the museum by bus? Let me see. Why, yes. What bus shall I take? First you get a number five bus. And then? Then you, you walk the rest of the way. How long will it take me to get there, do you think? About 20 minutes. Excuse me. What is it? Can you tell me how to get to the circus? Certainly. You need a number four trolley bus or a number 11 bus. Which is the best way to get there? By trolley bus, I think. Thanks a lot. Excuse me, please let me by. Are you getting off at the next stop? I've got to get off at Fleet Street. But that's the next stop but one, I think. Sorry, I didn't know that. Where to? The railway station. You're going the wrong way. You're going away from it. Oh dear. What'll I do then? Get off at the next stop, cross the road, and take the same tram going the other way. Thanks. Do I have to change? No, not for the railway station. I've bought the tickets. Have you really? Splendid. How did you manage it? With the help of a friend of mine. Well done. It's a good thing you were able to. How much is an ice cream? Well, what sort of ice cream do you want? This one, a chalk ice. Fifteen pence, please. I'll have one, please. Here you are. Thanks. Could you give me some money? How much do you want, I wonder? Six pence, if you can spare it. All right. When do you want it? Straight away, please. Here you are. Thanks. Order what you like. I'll pay. A couple of cheese sandwiches, please. And what about a cup of coffee? As you please. Anything else? Thanks. I don't think I'll have anything else. Can I get a cup of coffee? I'm so cold and tired. Just a moment. Sorry, there's no coffee. Can't I have a glass of milk then? There's no milk either, but you can have a cup of tea. With pleasure, if it's hot.